Now we're going to hook up the left motor. That's this one, the left motor from the robot's point of view. You can use, uh, for this, we will need the partially assembled robot um, and these wires here. They are all male male. You'll need two short black ones, the long black one, uh, and then the long blue, white, and orange. And, oh yeah, also this short red one here. So, um, and you will also need the fritzing diagram and the Arduino sketch. The fritzing diagram you can get by going to File, Open, and then Find the ChallengeBot repo. Uh, and then inside of the ChallengeBot repo, go to Build Stages, and then D left motor, and then left motor.fzz, and that's this diagram here. So the, mo the wires we're going to be connecting are these three wires here, this wire, this red wire, um, these two black wires, and this long black wire right here. And if it's too uh, far away, you can hold down control and scroll, and you can zoom in on stuff, and then you can do normal scrolling to pan around. Um, okay, so I'm going to connect um, the power for the logic on the motor controller now. So that's the tiny red guy right here. So one side has to go into this pin on the motor controller, the f this far pin here on line 20, and the other end has to go into the power rail here. Um, I like to take the, the short uh, guys and bend them first and then start putting them in. That That's usually a little bit easier to actually get them to go into both holes. So there, one side is in the power, the other side is in 20. And now I'm going to take the ground, the short ground wires, these two guys here, and I'm going to put those in. So they're on the center two of the uh, the motor controller. So that's 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So I'll connect one for 23. And again, I bend it, the short little wire beforehand, and the next one's going to be on 24. And it's going to go to ground. But right now, this ground rail here on this side of the breadboard is not actually hooked up to ground. So we're going to use the long wire over here um, to go from this side of the breadboard to that side of the breadboard. In the diagram, it's shown like that. And in real life, I'll take this long wire and push it on this side in, and then on this side. Try to push it in. It's not going in. OK, there we go. Um, so now these ground wires are hooked up eventually to the ground of the whole system. And then I will take the orange, which goes from pin 10 on the Arduino to line, um, let's see, one in from the end. So that's 26. So 10 on the Arduino. to 26 on the side of the motor controller that's um, closer to uh, me. Maybe I need to go like that. So I can do A, B, C, D, or E, any one of them on line 26, and that will work. Um, so now I'm going to take the blue one, and that goes in 9, right next to 10. And on the Arduino side, and then on this side, it goes on line 21. And then the white wire will go on pin 8 on the Arduino. And then on the breadboard, it will go to um, line 20 on the side closest to the back of the or the robot. So this goes right next to the blue over here. This goes right next to the blue on line 20. And by right next to, I mean on the line next to the blue. It's not actually right next to it. Um, so now we'll take the wires from the underside of the robot 
Uh, and you can prop the robot up like this on the caster so that when this starts spinning, uh, the robot won't get away from you. So I'm going to take these two lines and shove them up through this hole right here. And I'm going to pull on this, this side and push at the same time to get it to come all the way through. And then once it's all the way through, I'll hook it up as shown here. The yellow will go to line 22. And the green will go to line 25. So here, the yellow is in 22 there. And the green is going to go in 25. OK. And now I'm going to prop it up like this and attach the USB cable. And then I'll bring up the Arduino IDE. And uh, I'm in left motor already, but if you're not, you can go to sketchbook, D left motor, and you'll get this code. And then I'll hit the upload button, and it'll either just work, okay, it's done. Uh, or it would bring up a thing, and I would have to select the serial monitor, or the serial port that it's actually on. So now that it's uploaded, I will, um, the wheel is not moving yet. I have to turn the switch on and hopefully it'll move. Oh no. Uh, that battery's not connected, is it? Oh, the battery's not connected. Ha! <laughs> Good one. Okay, so the battery is also in the fritzing diagram. Let's refer to that. So that goes to pin 27. The positive side of that goes to pin 27. So I'm gonna unplug the USB. Plug this into pin 27 and the other side of the battery into ground. Um, so that's right there in the diagram. So this one's actually there in the diagram. Okay, so now I will hook up the Arduino to the USB and I'll turn it on. The program's already loaded. Oh, there it goes. So that is moving. Yay! Yay! 